Well, hello everyone, and uh, as you can tell from the title of this video, this is a 28mm uh, burnout. And what you can see in front of you is not 28mm. So I have been, uh, sort of not been posting much on the channel recently, this is because real life has gotten away. Uh, and the other issue was that, um, well, again, title of the video, I had a... 28 millimeter burnout. Um, I just I just wanted to paint something different. I wanted to maybe try a different scale. So as you can see in front of you, a different scale I have tried. Now at the beginning of the year, I had uh, dipped my toe into the Pike and Shot um, epics um, when I had a few sprues gathered up, and I, and I liked it. It um, it just didn't uh, scratch an itch for me. Um, so I, I sold all that on uh, after that and uh, continued on with the 28 millimeters. And now here I am with an American Civil War Confederate uh, force. So I had my eye on this for a while. This is the, to show you, the Guts and Glory starter set. Ignore my son's Spider-Man box in the background. Um, so I picked this up actually uh, at discount on Amazon. Uh, it was quite quite cheap. So um, this is Warlord Games Epic American Civil War. Um, and you get loads in the box. I mean, you get over 750 figures. This isn't even half of it. And already you can see that sort of uh, mass effect, uh, that battle effect, that army effect that uh, is just really striking. So... I started with the Confederates because I thought I'll get the difficult uniforms or I suppose the more ragtag uniforms out of the way and uh, found myself really enjoying it. Um, there's just something very pleasing about strips where you can just sort of paint your way across and then move on to the next. Um, and I mean they're not perfect, they're not painted to a very high standard but again because they're epic scale they're supposed to look like this and this is the, this is the sight that you will see in the battlefield not sort of individual faces or uh, you know cuffs or buttons or that the detail is there warlord have given that option so and it, it's definitely scratching the itch as i say i can get a sort of a regiment painted in one evening which is 60 men in one evening. So, you know, all of this took roughly two weeks, less than two weeks. Um, so, what have I built so far? Well, I have built uh, six regular uh, regiments of Confederate infantry. Uh, not 100% on the flags or the lore or the history, I should say, of the American Civil War yet. But I do know some of these flags are based on the Army of Northern Virginia. So uh, that will be where I will sort of base the, the army and their op opposing forces. These Zouaves, uh, I of course have painted as the famous Louisiana Tigers. Um, and the stripes aren't perfect and I know they should be very thin. But again, at epic scale, if I would painted them very thin, you wouldn't have seen them. So uh, I just went for sort of a blue line down here and there just to give that effect. Uh, I spent a little bit more time on these, highlighted the hats, or the fezes, and the shirts, and the white cross straps and things, but... Yeah, they look really, really well. Um, this is just a small unit. You do get enough... Uh, the sprue's weird for the zwabs because you essentially get enough to make six bases, which if you make three bases uh, to a regiment, like what I have, you should essentially get two regiments, but they do give you sort of like an extra command stand. So that's where the where I've made the decision to make sort of three small units as opposed to two standard ones so that I get to sort of use that. And it makes sense because I've read a little bit about the Zouaves and because the uniform was sort of so expensive and because the regiments were sort of held in eliteness, um, their numbers weren't as high as all the regiments. 
again that's only from reading one source so if that's wrong do let me know um but i am really enjoying this and then of course i've done some artillery <coughs> excuse me and again nothing spectacular with that but it's the mass effect <coughs> of the napoleon napoleon cannon uh, cannons there's a one of the most recently completed ones I had. So as you can see, I went for a uh, very ragtag effect here. Uh, one of the first units I painted is here. And it's slightly more uniform. Slightly. Uh, but this, you know, there's more variation in the trousers. And the shirts. And the hats. Um, but I think altogether, <coughs> it does look quite uh, effective as a confederate force. So that's what I've done so far. Uh, I also painted up the lovely piece of terrain that you get. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Recovering from a bit of a cold as well, so you'll have to pardon my coughing. Uh, and that, that was actually a joy to put together. Um, I annoyed my wife because the night I put it together, apparently I kept... Uh, Repeating over and over again. This is a joy to put together. This is such a joy to put together uh, So much so that uh, the TV was turned up a little bit louder, but uh, such are the Turmoils we must suffer as war gamers eh? But there you go um, <clears throat> And I think this is now <clears throat> gonna tickle my hobby itch Because you now two weeks and I've collected this or painted this and it's ready to go another two weeks and I should have the entire box finished so a month for the box <clears throat> and I, I'm just making the contents of the box an entirely confederate force with the aim then if, that if I buy another box and paint it up as Union then I should have two quite sizable opposing forces um, by doing three stands you should get ten regiments of regular uh, infantry Three small regiments of Zouaves. Uh, I'm going to base my cavalry a little bit looser. Um, so I'm hoping to get maybe three sort of stands, uh, regiments of cavalry out of that. Six cannon, uh, numerous commanders, and then your skirmishers and dismounted cavalry. So by doing that with both box sets, you'll get two quite sizable forces of, you know, 13 plus regiments each with cavalry and uh, skirmishers and artillery support and, and that's probably all you're ever going to need um, apart from investing maybe in a little bit more terrain etc so the epic sort of really intrigued me and uh, this is where the danger comes in because Warlord Illustrated or War Games Illustrated had a free sprue so I've painted up some Libyan spearmen. Uh, please ignore the the free hand on the shields. It just I, I, I knocked them up very quickly. But again, that's tempting. It never ends. Anyway, hope you're all well. Uh, this has been a bit rambly, but uh, yeah, happy wargaming.